Bubba Box Truck Corey! Corey's friends and family are sad to announce the passing of a great man. Corey passed January 8, 2020, in Lake Havasu, Arizona, USA. He was religious and he was ready, surrounded by friends and family with complete love. He did it his way. Corey's known for some time tomorrow wasn't promised. He had every reason to be bitter, but chose to be thankful instead. Not thankful he was dying, but thankful he knew. He would say, people go to work every day to a job they hate just to pay bills and on things they don't need. If they drop dead tomorrow, what was that all for? And he saw opportunity. You know, he wanted to know the difference between being alive and what a life to be lived was. Corey lived how he wanted. He sailed, he drove a motorcycle, he traveled. He was grateful for the time he had. With the help of community cause, Corey's friends want to tell you about the Corey that we know. He kept it real in his videos, but you know, there was so much more. Now, to know Corey at all is to know he loved his mother. Don't get me wrong, he loved both his parents, but his mom was his sun and moon. She raised a really good guy. And, you know, he was a little bit of everything all rolled into one. He did our technology, he fixed our things, he always made sure that, you know, we didn't need for anything. And he did a lot of things that he never took credit for, like secretly dropping off presents to slab children on Christmas Eve, and now donating his truck to Hawa so someone else can have a home. Corey was also my best girlfriend, and I know he hates when I say that, but it's true, we would laugh and laugh. Corey loved gossip, not just to spread it, you know, he, he never did that. He would always say, I'm not getting in the middle of that. <laughs> but he couldn't wait to hear it. So let's drop him some gossip, guys. Tell him all about the fun that we've had. Comment about your favorite video, your best memory, inspiration he gave. You know, and I know a lot of you are wondering about the dogs. They're staying with me, TP Tammy, the girl who was raised in a zoo. Taking care of animals is second nature to me. You know, they're my kids. Don't worry, they're loved. Har Har is my lap baby. And Dopey, she's 160 pounds of mothering us all. Don't worry, she's got this. We're building them a Taj Mahal doghouse, and I'm going to pull it behind my rig. To those who call him Uncle, that intro was for you. And guys, if Corey wants anything, it's for us to remember to live. Since uh, I've been diagnosed with a terminal illness, cardiac sarcoidosis, I also have systemic sarcoidosis through my whole body, but we'll talk about that another time. You know, I can't afford on my, my disability income to pay rent and survive, really. So we're gonna we're gonna move into a car, the three of us, and life's gonna be great. Thing ready for his gift. We just gotta do a few special preparations. Anyhow, let me show you what what I'm sending Camo Dave. I'm sure he's gonna love it. We uh, we found the underwear at the used clothing store. Cause you know, as I said, I'm sure Camo Dave, he wouldn't want me to spend a lot of money buying him new underwear. Unfortunately, these are like new used. They're from the used store. We got the Tillese sticker on there, but they're, uh, they're new. So, we're gonna have to put our own skid marks in there for them. So I uh, got a chocolate bar, just the no-name brand, just a cheap one. We don't want to waste a good chocolate bar on Camel Dave skid marks. For you new newcomers out here to the desert, the BLM, I'm gonna title it. So you crapped in a bag. Now what? Because some people don't know. You know, they come out here and they, uh, you know, they they they, they do the bucket method. And then they're not sure what to do after that. Oh, this is way overdue, guys. Well, I fit your slabs, huh? <laughs> I tell you, it's terrible today. <laughs> uh, like, you know. One hand a pump, another. Like, how are you supposed to rinse anything that way? I, you gotta have the foot pump. That's my opinion. Absolutely. 
you know, unless you go electric, but I don't want to use electricity. So, what pump it is. How we doing? How we doing over here? Yeah. Oh, this is, damn. This is almost as good as sex, almost. What about someone who went to the range and made a, an idiot of themselves and caused some trouble? What, what would happen to that person? Well, today we have a two for one special. Maybe, maybe that's the, the look. They're slaving away in that uh, cargo trailer. Doing a good job, but a lot of work. Today, we're going to meet with Corey in his beautiful box truck and get to know him and uh, take a look around. So, Corey, welcome to the channel. Well, thank you. And uh, you are Canadian. I am, eh? Eh? And, <laughs> and so you're here for, uh, or, or French, one or the other. You never know which. But no, you're... no, English, Canadian. Okay, and what's, where in Canada? Toronto. Toronto. Oh, well, that's uh, the French area, right? No, no. no. that's Quebec. Right. Quebec. Right. Yeah, yeah. We're several hour drive from uh, from Quebec. Right. 